forward to, like whatever. I mean, he the head contra, whatever he say, it goes. I mean, he plays when he plays. Do you feel like you need those reps in preseason at this point in your career? I think, I think getting reps in preseason is always important. So whatever he wants. Um, it's actually really good. Um, just the, the guys we brought in, not only just the rookies, but just the, the new guys we got, uh, the free agents. Um, you know, the, they're, they're, they all came along. We all had a, actually, our, our building faster than um, expected, um, just even in OTAs and uh, all the way up until now, just the, the bonding and the understanding of everything. The talk is not, you know, in the locker room or on the field is and like about other stuff that's happening. It's all about football stuff. So, you know, we're all growing, we're all learning. And, you know, we see that for the, for the new guys and um, the new guys picked up. So, Talking about how your guys' chemistry has grown so much this year versus last year. How are you feeling about that chemistry? Oh man, the chemistry is good. Um, a lot of guys got a lot of experience under their belts now. Um, Connor, Connor's doing really well. You know, he's working a lot of places. Him is just developing as a technician. Uh, all around players, just doing things himself. All the stuff that, that, that he's learning with um, just the GP, Tay, A Rob, and all those guys, man. Him just. Um, you know, them, them being on a better understanding of what he wants to see in certain looks, what to do. Um, and, you know, Roger coming along. Just uh, everybody's just really bonding at this point. Uh, what about Kendrick? He's your fullback the other day at goal line. Is that interesting? Does it do anything different for you having a 300 pound fullback? Might look more intimidating on the other side. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's got to be your job. So we'll see about that. You know, way to find that out it's in the game. Najee, is there a fine line in balancing how much guys play during preseason games, especially early on? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you wouldn't want the guys to play the whole game. You know, you like I'm not a coach, obviously, but you know, you would want to uh, give the guys a couple series, um, you know, get some film out there, so when we come in, we can look at it, correct it, see what we can do better. Uh, but you know, there's a fine line. But obviously, that's my team's job, not mine. So let's let them handle it. Do you think this first game is kind of a barometer of where you guys are, or does that come later in the preseason? I think first game is just that. Um, all throughout the, the, the other three preseason games, those are going to be really important, especially when um, when we get when we're lined up against a team that you know we're, we're going against each other every day in practice, so we kind of are scheming against each other right now. We're scheming against another team, um, you kind of see like what their tendencies are. And, and you know, we go on the film, we look at that, we try to go outside, uh, we try to go in the game, and capitalize on it, and you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a step, you know, I would say. Um, but you know, preseason will always be preseason. You really can't pull out all the plays. You know, it's going to be all basic stuff, I'm guessing, from both teams. We're going to do basic stuff, they're going to do basic stuff. We don't want to put too much out there for opposing this team. Thank you for checking out this content from Post Gazette Sports. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our Apple Podcast channel for more podcast content. Click below for a special deal of 99 cents for a three-month subscription to the Pittsburgh Post Gazette.